Can one non-indigenous species change the face of an entire ecosystem? When a new species appears in a favourable marine environment, it can be very difficult to control and nearly impossible to eradicate. What's more, it's expensive, and so for marine species that have a commercial value, fisheries are proving to be one of the most efficient ways of managing their numbers. Of course, if fisheries are going to be the main control mechanism, then we need to make sure they operate sustainably. And the fisheries need to support a balance that's sustainable at all levels, social, economic and environmental. In order to do this, research programmes are required to collect reliable information for science-based decision-making. There's a remarkable example in the Black Sea that illustrates both the challenges and opportunities of managing non-indigenous species. It's the Rapper Whelk, a large sea snail from the Western Pacific that appeared for the first time in 1946, transported on the hull of a ship in a process known as biofouling. The arrival of the non-indigenous whelk has led to steep declines in the populations of several native Black Sea commercial species, such as oysters, scallops, clams and mussels. But while the rapper whelk was initially viewed as an unwelcome invader, it's now exported globally and brings in multi-million dollar revenues for the countries bordering the Black Sea, providing livelihoods for thousands of fishers in the region. Recent assessments by the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean revealed that the rapper whelk is in fact now in a state of possible over-exploitation, moving away from maximum sustainable yield. The GFCM established a regional research program in 2018 to collect more information on the rapper whelk, in particular targeting fishery-independent data through a standardised survey at sea. As part of this research program, and under the framework of the GFCM Black Sea for Fish project, Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, Turkey and Ukraine joined forces to perform a comprehensive experimental beam trawl survey. A trial survey was conducted in July 2019 by a Turkish vessel. Then, to ensure comparable results could be obtained elsewhere, a common survey protocol was established. Next, in autumn 2020 and spring 2021, six different vessels surveyed a total of 686 Black Sea locations using the same sampling protocol. This is a great example of regional cooperation, with nations joining forces to enhance their research capacities and provide science-based advice, so this one-time invader can be effectively managed in the Black Sea. The survey's estimation of the rapper whelk population will ensure there's a solid base of information to support decision-making, put in place a common management plan, underpin the necessary policy and legislative measures, and raise awareness among stakeholders. So, to answer the question from the beginning, yes, a non-indigenous species can reshape the face of an entire ecosystem and we can no longer stop the inevitable changes created by this species. What we can do is study it, quantify it, identify possible alternative management scenarios and manage its presence in the future.